Hello everyone, this is Max Experience and you're welcome to my channel. Okay, so like I would always say, the truth is all that matters in learning, especially Max, is your own determination to learn, your commitment to the processes. The teacher may not teach you well, but you can commit to learning and that's what will bring you to my videos, take you to books and all of that, exercises, and those are the things you need to get the excellent performance and abilities you need, which are already resident in you. Okay, so let us drive. All right, so um, what do we have here? Angles in polygons. Recall that for a while now, we've been talking about angles or plane geometry, which is all about angles in plane shapes. All right, so and we've looked at angles in triangles. So now we have polygons in general. All right, so of course, now, under polygons, we know that a polygon is simply a plane shape bounded by straight lines. So when the edges of a plane shape is a straight line, you refer to this as a polygon. So that's why a circle is not a polygon because the edge, the edge of the circle is round, not a straight line. So now we have examples. Uh, the first polygon is a three-sided polygon, which is a triangle. So, which I said we have looked at, and then you have the quadrilateral, which is four-sided, and then you have the pentagon, which is five-sided, and you have the hexagon, you have the heptagon, you have the uh, octagon, you have the nonagon, and the decagon, and there are others. Okay, so... Oh, sorry, this is Nona Octa, and this is Decagon. All right, so this is six, seven, eight, nine, and ten sided polygons. All right, so these are the first things we need to know what a polygon is. Now, secondly, before we get into angles in polygons, we need to know all of this. So, secondly, when it comes to polygons, there are types of polygons. All right, so we need to know, for instance, what is a regular polygon, okay? So, because we are going to be mentioning all of this when we get here. So, a regular polygon is a polygon that uh, has equal sides and angles, okay? So, equal sides. And, of course, whenever any polygon has equal sides, automatically the angles will be equal. So even without putting an angles, that definition is actually complete. It's sufficient. This is sufficient to define a regular polygon. Okay, so now the next one we need to look at is what we call a convex polygon. When is a polygon said to be convex? Okay, so a polygon is convex if all the interior angles of that polygon, none of them is reflex. Okay, so first of all, what is, uh, okay, meanwhile, let's see examples. Remember, this is a polygon. This one is a polygon. If I have something of this nature, this is also a polygon. This is a triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon. So the interior angles are these ones, interior angles. Okay, so when the interior angles, meanwhile, let me draw another one. This is also a polygon. If I have something of this nature, this is also a polygon. So now, when the interior angles of a polygon, all of them are non-reflex angles. So you refer to that polygon as con con uh, convex. So when, what do we mean by reflex? An angle is reflex when it is more than 180 degrees, but less than 360 degrees. So of course, you know, if I have something like this, let me say, for example, something of this nature, this angle here is a reflex angle because it is more than 180 degrees. The 180 degrees will be somewhere here. So, but it has passed it. And so it is now more than 180, but it did not complete the cycle. So it's less than 360. All right. So such an angle is called reflex. All right. So when you have in a polygon, all the internal or interior angles are non-reflex. So you refer to it as convex. So this is a convex, convex, but this one is not convex. Why? Because there is one interior angle here 
that is not that is a reflex angle okay so this one is non-reflex 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 and these two also but this singular one here is a reflex angle therefore this particular polygon is a it's not a convex polygon and what then is it called this type of polygon is called a re-entrant polygon re-entrant polygon okay so now these are the types of polygons necessary for us to define in order to be able to start discussing angles in a polygon now but before we now completely begin to do examples under angles there are rules that guide solving problems in polygons just as you have rules of indices rules of logarithms rules of sorts and all of that we also have rules in angles just as we also saw rules or theorems under angles in triangles the only thing is that when it comes to geometry those rules are called theorems so under angles in polygons we have two theorems to look at okay so let's look at the first theorem let me write it this way theorem one okay so this one says that the sum of the interior angles of an n-sided convex polygon is always equal to n minus 2 times 180. So what is that saying? That if I have a convex polygon, uh, of course this is a pentagon that has five angles, that assume that, of course since it's a pentagon, that means your n is equal to 5. Okay, so if any convex polygon that has any number of sides is given to you that you can actually get the sum of the total angles of the interior without even adding them and how do you do that just pick the number of the sides in this case it is five subtract two from it and then whatever you get you multiply it by 180 that that will give you the total sum of the interior angles of that particular polygon okay so that's the first theorem and then the second theorem theorem 2 says that this one now tells you how to calculate the sum of the angles of the uh, what we call the exterior angles of that polygon and what did it say that the sum so this one now is static it's just saying that it does not depend on the number of sides the first one depends on the number of sides. The number of uh, sides will tell you the sum of the interior angles. So that means the sum of the interior angles in a three-sided polygon will not be the same for five-sided or four-sided or six-sided. But for the exterior angles, the number of sides is irrelevant. It says that the sum of the exterior angles of any, I'm using this symbol for angles, that the sum of the exterior angles of any convex polygon is always equal to 360 degrees. That's very beautiful. So meanwhile, let's see a diagram for this. Okay, so the exterior angle is just an extension of the line. So this one inside is the interior. So if you now extend the line, the outer one becomes the exterior angle. Okay, so what that rule is saying there is that if I sum all these exterior angles, assume here is A, so that if I sum A B plus B, that it is always equal to 360 degrees, no matter the number of sides included in that polygon. It doesn't change. Okay, so with this in mind, we should be able to do examples. And we can actually see a very clear example. For instance, let's use a regular triangle. Remember, a regular triangle is called equilateral. So if I have a regular triangle, that means uh, the angles are equal. So this is 60, 60, 60. So what do you think the exterior angles will be? If I extend these angles on a straight line, that means this one will be 120. If I extend this, this one will also be 120. So if you watch, the sum of the three of them has already given you 306 and he holds for every other type of polygon okay so let's look at examples of uh, problems involving angles in polygons all right so here is the first example and here we are giving a pentagon of uh, five sides and five angles and we are to find a missing angle y 
solution. So what are we expected to do here? Just apply this first rule that says that the sum total of the interior angles will be equal to something. And what is that? So if I can get the sum of all the angles, and what is it? This is 90, that's perpendicular sign. So I have 90 degrees plus 150 degrees plus this other three, which is going to give me y plus y plus y, that's 3y, is going to be equal to the total sum of the angles of a pentagon. And so your n is 5. Recall that formula, n minus 2 times 180. So my n here is 5. 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 times 180 will give me 540 degrees. So that means the total sum of all these angles must be equal to 540 degrees. And all I need to do is to make this the subject and then get my y. So this plus this will give us 240 degrees and that's plus 3y equal to 540. And so my 3y alone is equal to 540 And by the time you divide both sides by 3, you will get that y alone is equal to 100 degrees. So this is 100, this is 100, and this is 100. And of course, if you sum the 5 of them, you will get back your 540 degrees. So that's how to use all of these, the theorems and the definitions, and that will help you solve problems. Let's look at the next example. The second example says find the interior angles. This is for angles of a regular polygon which has six sides and ten sides. Now, what is this asking us to do? Notice that they didn't ask us to get the sum of the interior angles. They asked us to get the interior angles. And because they want you to get the interior angles means each of the interior angles you have in that polygon. And so because it will be difficult to get the interior angles if the polygon is irregular, so that is why they gave you a regular polygon, so that you just need to find one, and so that becomes for all of them. And how do you do that? You would need to get the sum of the total and then divide it by the number of angles. Remember I told you that the number of sides is always equal to the number of angles. Okay, so for A, my N is equal to 6. So that means the sum of the total angles will be equal to 6 minus 2 multiplied by 180. And so that's going to give me 4 times 180, which is equal to 720 degrees. My interior angle now is equal to the total sum. Since they are all equal, just divide by their number. And so if you divide by 6, so the total sum, or sorry, each of the interior angles of the particular polygon is going to be 120 degrees. I will allow you to do for B, put your answer in the comment section. Let's look at example 3. So for example 3, you would observe that many questions when it comes to angles, especially polygons, usually appear as word problems. The reason is because with the understanding of the definitions we've done and the theorems, it is easy to sketch any problem into a diagram. Okay, so let's look at that. Example 3 solution, it says that there is a regular polygon that has all the angles are to be of size 150 each. And so we are asked to find the number of sides. Okay, so using the formula, so... Now, we don't have our N, and um, we also don't have the sum of the angles. Now, then remember here, like what I said here, that since the, uh, uh, the polygon is regular, that if you divide the total sum by the number of sides, you will get the value for each. So that means if I don't have the sum, if I have each, and here we are told that each angle is 150. So if I multiply it by the number of sides, that will give me the sum. Now get the trick in this question. So that means the total sum of angles in this particular polygon 
is going to be 150 degrees multiplied by the number of sides. Okay, remember that the number of sides is the same as the number of angles. Okay, and that is going to be equal to my N. I don't know the N. Actually, that is what I'm looking for, the number of sides. So my N minus this. Of course, you can open this bracket. Let's do that. So if I open this bracket, 180 times N will give me 180 N minus 180 times 2 will give me 360 degrees. Now watch what will happen. This time, this is going to be equal to 150 N and that is equal to 180 N minus 360 degrees. Okay. So from here, I can now make N the subject. Take this one, that's collect like terms. Take this one to this side and take 150 to that side. So if I do that, 360, the reason I'm moving this to this side is because it's negative. So if it comes here, it will become positive 360 equal to here I have 180 N. This one coming over here will become minus 150 N. Okay, so, uh, and you are done. So this is 360 degrees. Okay, so by the time we divide the both sides by 30, so you are going to have this, we take away this, therefore our N, so that means the polygon, that will be a regular polygon, that will have each interior angle to be 150, is going to have 12 sides. And of course, this polygon is called a dodecagon. All right, so that's the solution to that problem. Very beautiful. So the understanding of what a regular polygon is, how to get the total sum will help you understand this. Okay, so let's look at this last example before I give you an exercise. So the example here says, find the value of an exterior angle of a polygon with 12 sides. Okay, so what do you do here? This is going to involve the second theorem that says that the sum total of any convex polygon, the sum total of the exterior angle, sorry, of any convex polygon is always equal to 360 degrees. So sum of exterior angles is equal to 360. All right. So, uh, and you know what that means? Even if it is five, that means if you add the five exterior angle, you get 360. So if you want to get the value of each exterior angle, just divide 360 by what? Five. So divide 360 by your N, the number of sides, that will give you the value of the exterior angle. And that is going to give us 360 degrees all over 12. So in this case, if you divide this by 12, you're going to get 30 degrees as your solution. All right, so this is where we end it for this video. So kindly do the exercise, I think in number two, the B part, and then also find the value for this. Okay, so find the value of X. Now, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, give it a thumbs up to our video. We'll see you in our next lesson. Bye-bye.